collections, and more. Come visit us at MagicalFantasy.com. That was Thunder's Wrath, Lighting the Lantern, and this is Let's Talk About the Music. And you might have guessed right, it's me, I'm Spider. I'm in the glorious flatlands of Ohio, and recent home of the Republican National Convention. Who's booing out there? Boo! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Of course, in Tacoma, nowhere near that, we have shells. Yep, Google Google it. (laughs) (laughs) Just two drinks, two drinks for keeping track. And on the phone, we have our first sponsor, or, well, he, actually, yeah, he was our, our first sponsor, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, yes, he is. Yeah, he's first on the show, and he was first on the show as a sponsor. This is Brandon I'm Pierce. number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you do a, a, a comic strip called Invader Pet, correct? No, in, in InvaderPet.com is the website. Oh, uh, okay. Invader, Invader Pet is probably like the name. Like if I ever make my own company, 
or business company, that's the name I'm going to use. The name of the webcomic is Pet Projects. Ah, uh, okay. And see, I I should know better because I did go and I read a bunch of the uh, a bunch of it relatively recently to make sure that I was all up to speed. And see, that's how my memory works with a two year old in the house. <laughs> and you failed. Yeah. <laughs> I get at least one or two good fails every show. My worst one was when I confused Whitney Houston and Tina Turner. I think that was probably what? my worst fail yet. You remember that when we were talking about? I don't even remember what we were talking about. No, no. Here, here, here's a way to tell. Here's a way to tell them apart. Tina Turner is the, is the better singer. There you go. Oh, oh, Brandy deserves a, a, a applause. <laughs> All right. So now that we got you on, uh, you are one of our first sponsors. So tell us what you do and. Uh, Tell us what you think about the show. Oh, well, well. first of all, I'm doing my own, uh, of course, y'all know, I'm doing my own independent webcomic called Pet Projects, which is about a witch and her two pets who kind of get into mischief and cause trouble and things like that. And uh, I'll hang on just one moment. I'm on the phone with them. She, I'm on the phone with Shelly. She's doing her podcast right now. She's doing and all that. Explanation. Okay. Anyway, um, sorry about that. Um, anyway, yeah, I I do a web comic where I uh, and uh, right now I'm I did a live action film short called Customer Service, which you might should be able to find on YouTube. Just go under my Invader Pet YouTube channel, and you'll find the film there and also uh, I did a uh, I'm currently working on an animated short film which which is based around my my web comic very good very good um, so as a as a sponsor of the show um, what what sort of benefits are you getting from being on the show tell all the good people out there all the good things that are that are happening by being everybody working together here. I think I've gotten a little bit more exposure. Um, I contacted, uh, I went to the performer's call board where you can like hire like actors or crew people or anything to help on uh, like a film project. And one of the people there said that they had seen my work before and I don't know who this, who this person was or I, I don't think they they know like you or the or the cartoonist league or because I'm a member of the cartoonist league of absurd Washington in Zofflona's Claw and they might have heard from through through Shelley's podcast cool. possibly well good I, I would count that as a success any extra bit of traffic is good traffic right mm-hmm right So what do you? Uh, go ahead, sorry. What was that? No, go ahead. Continue. Uh, well, um, I, as far as I know, the only people that are aware of the, my web comic are you know friends, family, the members of the Cartoonist League, and I guess anybody that listens to Shelley's show, I, I, yeah, I think uh, um, Dennis Carr, who I think is one of the people who listens to the show, who is a, uh, who, who actually. Uh, helped uh, transfer my website over. Uh, she- Shelly designed the website, but I... But um, Dennis is the one that actually transferred it off of GoDaddy, because GoDaddy was ripping me off. And, <laughs> yeah. But he, he's aware of the website, and, then, you know, I, and, uh, I, I have a few friends on Facebook that are aware of it, and, you know, hopefully they tell, get the word out, tell people and all that. Good, good. Well, you know, that's we're happy to help out and we're glad that you're joining us for our, for our journey here. And um what is it that uh that you hope in the long term to uh to get out of being associated with the show? Well, um I'm hoping to, you know, get maybe noticed by maybe any 
any cartoon syndicates, maybe, or or any local uh, newspapers that want to contact me or uh, check out or say anything like, hey, we like your comic work. I uh, was, um, uh, would, would you like to do some comics for us, whether it be uh, your current web comic or some other kind of comic you want to do? I actually sent my comics to a syndicate. Uh, I think it was Universal U-Click, which also is the syndicate for Pro for Swine. But, uh, and I sent sent my comics to them once last year and got a rejection and I sent them another I, I emailed my comics again a few months ago and I never heard back from them this second time so hmm. well never know time. it could be under review and possibly always good to kind of look a little bit on the bright side but um, as far as um for anybody out there who's listening, if you are associated with any of these various groups, either with a newspaper looking for a cartoonist, or if you're looking to, to hire a cartoonist, or, you know, hey, if you like what you um, hear on the show, we like Brandon, and he's mm-hmm. here, and he is available. Yeah, let me, uh, let, me uh, let anyone out there that if you... Uh if you're if you like some of the comics that I've been doing, and if, and if maybe you want to do something with me or my or my comic strip, or want to maybe publish it in any way, or have me do comics for you, I can be reached at invaderpit at gmail dot com. Cool. Yes. So how do you now? How did you like the show? I don't think we. Got cover that question. Yet. Have you how do you like the show so far? Oh, the show's doing pretty good. Cool, cool. Have you discovered I, any new I, musicians? I, 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 I don't know if anybody from Spreaker is uh, listening right now, but if they could, they should uh, see if they can get in contact with some people like Jessica Freck or Anna Nalik and ha- see if they can get permission to play some of their music on the show. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. See? Any anybody out there who can pull strings? Come on, we know you're listening. Mm-hmm. We know you're out there. <laughs> so, anybody, I, I, I'm not looking at the chat room right now, but anybody in the chat room have any questions or anything? Oh, yeah. Anybody in the chat room have questions? At all? The chat's still kind of light tonight so far, so we might yes. have a whole lot of folks in there other than they, ourselves. <laughs> that's because we knew I'd be on. No, it was. They're, that's they're not intimidated. Right. It's intimidation. That's what it is. Yes, it's you're a fantastic force artist. Force of personality. Yeah. You're See, like, I know Sean from Serial Obsession is absurdly, absurdly jealous of your photo with Summer Glau. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, he, he thought you were dating her. You're, you're actually... <laughs> you're actually um, Dating that young lady in your photo. Mm-hmm. So he was trying to sway sway her on the air. Wait, you weren't even on the air anymore. Trying to tell her she just come to talk. Go talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, can, can I can I mention this? Go for I it. I want to say something real quick. Okay. okay. Um, I don't really know if I should do this or not, but um, okay. On uh, July twenty seventh, that's uh, going to be my birthday, actually. And um, I'm going to be at the Weird Al Yankovic concert at that <gasps> Woodland Park Zoo. You're not taking me. And, um, well, my it's sort of like a birthday outing sort yeah, of I'm thing. Kidding. I, I'm kidding. Yeah. But anyway, uh, for anybody listening out there, I'm going to be at that concert. And uh, um, I, hopefully it's not going to be, in, I don't know if it's going to be cool or not, but usually when I go to events like this, I wear my green Angry Beavers jacket. So, um, for anybody listening, and if they um, just want to say hi and say, hey, I like your work and all that, or if they want to discuss, like, com- comics or comic projects or anything like that, yeah, I'll be there. See, if anybody's going to go see Weird Al and they see Brandon there, take a, a pad of sketch paper and a pen and have him draw you out a little cartoon and an autograph because, you know, it's going to be worth it. See? Definitely. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to have to head off here and get some rest because I have to.